Okay, so I've, I've got a, I'm trying something new here. Uh, as you can see, I'm not, it's not quite as it should be, but um, I've got a little earpiece inside here that is connected to my phone, and I want to see how well it records. Uh, so I, that way I could do some um, recording with my phone while we are uh, while we're flying, and I can shoot it straight to my uh, to my Instagram and stuff and all like that. Uh, makes it a lot easier if I can get my iPad to cooperate here. Uh, so, today, uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm just going to go do some practice. Uh, practicing, uh, yeah, I don't know yeah, how this is going to go. I really need this thing fastened somehow different than what I have here. Here, I'll put you over here. Maybe you can, I'll look at you that way. Hopefully that's not too weird. All right, so we're rolling now. I don't know where that little earpiece is at. I took my headset off and it disappeared. So I guess we're stuck with with these now. So, so long. We're fixing to leave out of here. Montezuma traffic, 83210, Zulu departing runway 18, Montezuma. All right, gauges are all in the green. Airspeed's alive. Rotate. And we're off. Boy. Man. When you're by yourself, this thing will get out and go. Uh, I just found my earpiece. So there's first 500 feet. We'll pull the power back. Pull the prop back. Yeah, what I'm doing this evening is just basically what we call pattern work. Uh, I'm wanting to go to uh, I want to go to uh, Cedar Key, and Cedar Key is uh, is the shortest paved runway in Florida. So let me make a radio call. Montezuma traffic, 8321 Zulu, left downwind, runway 18, Montezuma. So, that's what my plan is to go to um, Cedar Key sometime. And it's a really, really short runway. So, that's why I'm wanting to just, just get some practice in for my, for my short field. Uh, Take off and or yeah, take off and landings. And uh, oh, I think I, I think I got the. Yeah, I got the little mic thingy now. So I'm gonna put this in. All right, now, which I got to worry with landing now, so. Alright, get it trimmed, and we're well within flap speed, we're going to go 10 degrees here, got just a slight, well I say a slight, it's a little more than slight, alright so, well I got a little bit of time here,
get this thing set up. And basically I'm just trying to figure out if this thing is going to record properly. Alright, we're going 20 degrees here. Montezuma traffic, 8321 Zulu, left face, 18 Montezuma. Alright, we're getting a little bit slow. So I add some power. Wow, this sun is killing it. And if I like what I see here on final, I'll go full flaps. So I need to be like low and slow normally. Coming into Cedar Key uh, because that is a very, very short. Caution, obstacle. Uh oh. Montezuma traffic, 8321 Zulu, turning final, 1 8, Montezuma. Alright, so now we're going to go 30. And you get some power out, dip the nose. Uh, let's just go full flaps. I see the runway lights are on. Yeah, we do have a crosswind. Pretty severe. I should say severe. 12 knot. Not too terrible. 500. 500. All right, cow flaps are open. We are going to need to trim this thing then. So what my goal is, is to land and be completely stopped before the taxiway. Alright, we're got plenty of altitude here. Alright, everything is looking good so far. Alright, here, we've got the runway made. Trim it, trim it, trim it. And there it is. She was not flying. All right. Now, I'm not on the brakes like real, real hard, but I have landed and we are now stopped shy of the thousand foot markers. So I think it's safe to say that uh, that would have been a good one. Montezuma traffic, 8321 Zulu on the go. 18 Montezuma. Alright, airspeed's alive. Everything is in the green. And we are up. That was pretty good. So, Brandon, I know that, uh, I know that with uh, with only myself in here uh, it's going to make a difference uh, it, it's just you can't help it uh, you know I should have turned that on y'all going to probably be hearing all kinds of noise does that sound any better actually that thing needs to have, his, have the um, the batteries change in it alright we have got 500 feet, so we're going to power back to 24, 24 inches on the manifold, and 24.50. You know, that one, that was, that one, I came in fairly, I, I, I didn't go out quite as far as I normally would have to get set up, and I had to bring it in, but yeah, I've, I've, that one felt pretty good. Uh, I, I do think I should have carried maybe a little bit more airspeed uh, there. 
right there at the last. I think I think I should have been a little faster. Shouldn't have. I think I started my round out maybe a little bit early. Uh, let me make a radio call. Montezuma traffic, 8321 Zulu, left downwind, runway 18, Montezuma. All right, so now we're in the downwind, so we're going to we're gonna bring the power back. We're going to trim this thing because we're ready up over, we're doing 105 knot. Uh, thanks to me running my mouth instead of really paying attention here. So... What we're going to do is once I get into flap speed, we'll just we'll put some uh, we'll put 10 degrees of flaps in. And I noticed in some of my videos before I was just saying going 10, and in my, my mind I'm thinking flaps, but I was not saying it. Uh, but that's what I do. Like we're beam the numbers, pulling the power out, trim a little. We want to. Lead off a little bit of altitude because we were uh, at pattern, actually just a touch over pattern altitude. So once we lose enough altitude on the on the downwind, then we will turn our base. I hope this isn't getting boring for you because all I'm doing is running my mouth. To I feel like no one. I don't know if this video is going to, if video con is, content is going to be worth anything or not, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, if not, you'll never see it. All right, we're going 10 degrees of flaps here. Montezuma traffic, 8321 Zulu, turning left base, runway 18, Montezuma. All right, so we're getting a little bit slow and... Altitude is looking pretty good. We, we might be a little bit high, but to be honest with you, I prefer that until I'm com um, I know I have the runway made. Um, and then here we're going to go 20 degrees. So I have right at the moment I have kind of a pretty much a headwind and that means when I turn on my base, that means that I will have a crosswind. So I actually need to turn uh, my, oh, I shouldn't say, fi I, when I turn final, I'll have a crosswind. So I need to actually drag or hold out my crosswind just a little longer and turn it a little later because of that wind. Montezuma traffic, 8321 Zulu, turning final, 18 Montezuma. Okay, now here we're going to go, we're just going to go full flaps right away. Yeah, we're, we're and, it's, and it really slows it down. Just like that, I turn like late. All right, I need to dip the nose because we need to keep our air speed up. Uh, I'd like to be uh, kind of, I like I like the, the 85 or 80 knot. Uh, on final uh, with with uh, full flaps. That's that seems to seems to be a pretty good. That seems to be a five hundred. Okay, we got five hundred feet to the ground. So we're 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 plenty high. So I need to I need to pull the power. And we're yeah looking looking good here, uh, according to the. Happy, we're right on the glide slope. Don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, it's we're looking good. I think I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do another full stop here, and uh, all right, so props full forward. We're, we're all good here. So this is looking pretty good here. Keep that flare coming. Set it in nice and easy, just like that. So that one, I mean, I, I don't want to eat my brakes up. 
I could could have stopped here by the thousand foot marker. So I'm I'm landing and I can shut down well within uh well within the the distance I need for uh Jekyll Island. Uh, not Jekyll Island. Cedar Key. 